Wendy's has a new podcast, and it's not great. At least, not on the surface. But what we see as a low-effort offering might mark a new inflection point in podcasting that few of us saw coming. Hello, and welcome to another Podcast Pontifications with me, Evo Terra. When I first heard that Wendy's, the fast food chain, had a podcast... I was intrigued. When I heard they were calling it, Sir, This is a Wendy's Podcast, I pulled out my Leonardo DiCaprio slow clapping gif and slowly clapped. Loved it. But then I actually heard the program and was a mixture of disappointed and baffled. You see, it's my first comment was, this is not a podcast. This is... Maybe a trailer for a podcast, but really more an ad for burgers and fries. Yeah, so I was thinking this is kind of... <clears throat> yeah, what is this little short version? Professionally produced, sure, but uh, no real content. It's like an ad. That can't be what's happening. Well, then I heard just a few weeks ago, maybe just last week. Time's weird. The second episode was available, so I listened. And two things struck me. Um... Still not a podcast. Yes, an audio file delivered via RSS feed, so technically a podcast, but not a podcast anybody would want to listen to, because it was just an, an ad. And a pro announcer voice reading a slightly longer script than he probably read for the radio. And uh, also, weirdly enough, the first episode was gone. Only one... One episode... There was... What happened to episode one? This is episode two. I should see two episodes in the feed, right? It's not... No. No, not there. So I was also angry. Eh, angry is the wrong word. I was like, another big company that doesn't actually get it. But then I did what I'm supposed to do, and that is put on my contrarian hat, take the opposite opinion and say, well, wait a minute. What are they doing here? Is there something here? And now, on reflection, I love this podcast. <laughs> I love this podcast for a lot of reasons. And one of the reasons I love this is they did not, they, Wendy's, did not try to go out and make a branded podcast that so many other brands are doing. Branded podcasts are really hard to do, and some of them are great. When they are well done, they are amazing, but they take a lot of effort. Wendy's didn't try to do that with, sir, this is the Wendy's. This is a Wendy's podcast. Not what their intention was. No deep, deep dives. Wendy's also didn't try to make a yipe. And a yipe is what I call yet another interview podcast. Sure, they could have sat down with their executive team. They could have interviewed customers. They could have interviewed store managers or the person back in the back making the fries. They could have done all of that with interview style. To have one more, or as I say, yet another interview podcast, but they didn't do that. They're also not trying to sell advertising. Why, why would they try to sell advertising? Their goal, they might want hundreds of thousands of listeners, but not to sell advertising. That's not their goal. Nor are they trying to sell merch. Well, wait, I, I guess they are trying to sell merch if you consider burgers and fries at their restaurants merchandise. No, what I think Wendy's is trying to do with their podcast is they're making a flagpole. They're setting a pole in the ground saying, we're Wendy's, we have a podcast. That's great, but that's all they're doing. Much like way back in the day when we just made web pages, a website that was a single page that says, yeah, here's where my business exists on the internet. It's kind of like that. Here it is. Looks good. Sounds good. But there's not a lot more to it than that. But it's a flagpole they put in. It's also kind of a knowing wink and a secret handshake between fans of Wendy's. And yes, I can assure you that there are people who are big fans of fast food chains like Wendy's. Big, big fans. So for them, they now have a podcast. The fans themselves of a podcast because Wendy's has set a stone in the ground, set the flagpole and said, here we are with our podcast called, sir, this is a Wendy's podcast. 
But also, I think what's really cool here is this is them. This is a big corporation, Wendy's, capital, not, you know, not just capitalizing on a meme. The meme, by the way, is, sir, this is a Wendy's. If you don't understand that meme, go back. I'll have a link in the episode details so you can understand the meme of, sir, this is a Wendy's. But it's Wendy's acknowledging the meme. They know it exists. But they're, I guess, redefining the official take on what it means to them. So the meme can be what it is out in the world, but they're going to own it. Owning is the wrong word. They're going to realize it exists, but redefine it in their owned property of this podcast. It's their official take. Now, is it as funny as the current meme that's been out the internet for, I don't know how long, of course not. But it's not supposed to be. Also, and this is key, what you hear right now on the Sir, This is a Wendy's podcast is not the end goal. It's what they're doing right now. And it might be what that show does forever. But I don't think that it's the end goal in mind is to just capitalize on this meme and redefine this meme in the podcasting form, sort of, from a weird corporate soda way. No, I think it's going to evolve into something else. But what's really cool about this to me is that that flagpoling behavior, that podcasting now, finally, after almost 16 years, has reached the point to where at least one big corporation says, well, I guess we have to have a podcast. I guess we need something out there. But instead of going and trying to redefine what that means, or not try to redefine, instead of trying to go and play with the rules of podcasting, they're just simply saying, great, we're going to put a stake in the ground, but we're going to have fun with it. Now, I don't, I mean, ultimately, I think we're going to get to the point where it becomes, having a podcast becomes a default behavior for a brand or a big company. We're not there yet, which is weird. You know, we're there with social media and YouTube and things like that, which is, you know, both of those are younger than podcasting, but podcasting never got there. And that's fine. We take our own, our own path to get places. But maybe this is where businesses are looking at podcasting now saying, look, we have to have a podcast. We need something out there. But it doesn't have to be interview files. It doesn't have to be branded content of sort. Maybe it's just something like this. It's Podcasting is so weird and wonky. Let's just do what we want to do, where the key factor is it's an audio file and it's available on all the podcast platforms. What can we do? Not to be like the other podcast, but just simply to be there so that our fans, our, our, our advocates can simply have something that they are attached to. I'm, I'm excited because this is obviously going to bring in more money from brands into the podcasting space. That's true. So people, I, I guess like myself, who do work for brands, we make podcasts for brands, we'll obviously have more opportunities now. But really it's more, I think we should all be excited about this, all working podcasters, because it is a brand exploring what the space means to them. I, if you'd have had me bet on which company would have done it, w wouldn't have been Wendy's. Then again, I'm also not super into uh, the understanding of what it's like to be in the quick serve restaurant business. But I'm really... I'm impressed what they did from this perspective, from understanding what they're trying to do. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that, that it's there now. So I've changed my tone, my tune on the, sir, this is a Wendy's podcast. If you haven't listened to the show, you should, not, not, not this show you're listening to. If you haven't listened to the Wendy's podcast, you probably should just be prepared. You're not going to love it. <laughs> you're not going to love it, but hopefully I've given you a, a, a lens, which, which you can listen to the show, look at the show through. And if you got a meme crazy friend who knows it very, very well, send them this episode first. And maybe that's enough intriguing element, especially if they're into podcasting, to get them to listen to the podcast with uh, maybe a new, a new angle on it. Anyhow, if you want to buy me a burger, well, buy me a, buy me a coffee. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash evoterra if you like the concept and ideas I bring to you every day, four times a day, four times a week. On the program, buymeacoffee.com slash evoterra. That's it. See you tomorrow for another podcast, Pontifications. Cheers.